Hello and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking for a message from your shadow self. And I've got to say there's been a lot of heavy um, energy, unhealed energy, coming through um, through me since these cards um, wanted to be brought out and that was actually a few days ago um, they they were sort of quick <laughs> to want to be set in place uh, before the reading was able to be done and I'm realizing now that I've been uh, feeling into the energy of your shadow selves um, for the last few days and um, transmuting that energy. So it will be interesting to see what comes through in this reading. Um, when we're working with the shadow, the shadow is not bad. It's not harmful um, in any way except when you know certain patterns of thinking or behavior or feeling or these deep unhealed wounds they are affecting our current life um, in a way that we can't see the root cause of it and because we can't access the root cause um, it's harder to heal and that's what the shadow is it's um, unhealed belief systems and um, energy frameworks, emotional uh, sediments, I would say, like the body keeps the score, you know, the emotional traumas that actually come in and become a part of our body. Um, and so they, they affect us in ways that are coming from the shadow. So it's harder for us to address them. It's harder for us to heal them. And that's why we're doing this reading today. Um, just prior to the solar eclipse, we're in eclipse season. We're in Mercury retrograde season. Like it's all on. There's a lot of really intense energy around us and there's a lot of stuff coming up to be healed from the depths of within us. Now just prior to starting this reading today I had the um, angel number 1001 come through and that is about finding your purpose. I'm getting finding your tribe, finding your aligned life path and there's also the meeting your soulmate energy and then again I saw 1010 just before starting divine timing is at play along with fated connections so we could be getting some messages coming through about uh, relationship wounds uh, that are in your shadow or that could be a message from your angels that if you are on the path of desiring to meet your divine counterpart, your twin flame, your soulmate, that this is a sign coming through for you that you are aligned and you are on the right path. Who you seek is seeking you too. That's a message for the collective very beautiful. We've got very fateful divine timing energy, um, the stars aligning for this reading and for you to hear these messages today. Um, so I will introduce the piles now after that long intro. Pile number one, High Priestess number 14. Now, yes, you may have already noticed 144144, the synchronicity also in the numbers on the card. So we'll dive into each card's number, angel number meaning, um, within each of the piles. But this is also interesting that we've had the 1001, 1010144144. Um, yeah. It's very potent. There's a very potent, fated energy here. 
and I'll carry on, I'll get to the, the pick a card. <clears throat> Number 14, High Priestess, and that is with cow. So this is a dairy cow. Well, I don't know if that's exactly what it would be called. I'm sorry, the black and white cows um, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, are um, farmed for their milk. So that's why I called it the dairy cow. Um, pile number two, 41, salt. And that is with our white tiger. Mm. And pile number three, 44, deep being. And that is with orca. So take as much time as you need to, to choose your pile or your piles, pause the video if you want, and then you head down to the description box where you'll find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading, and I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading. The energy is intense, um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, energy is coming through my body um, to be transmuted, alchemized, um, so I'm feeling like I'm a bit rambly, uh, but I am, as always, doing my very best to articulate the messages, the energy that's coming through for you. And I mean, already this is quite something. I got this card yesterday, I think. Um, and it wants to come through for you. I just saw 44 on the timer and I was, you know, we have our 1441444. 44 is pile number three, by the way. So maybe if you felt called to both. But we have 14, High Priestess Leadership. I mean, she is stunning. She, they, uh, whatever. She is in the cosmos. She is connected. She's the High Priestess. Check out that third eye open. And also the whites of her eyes. This is inward sight. This is when we're no longer looking at external situations, people, places, things. Um, we're no longer receiving um, data from the, our external circumstances or the energy of others. This is going within. This is a conscious uh, blinding is coming through, a conscious blinding of the physical eyes so that you can see clearly with our flower of life energy here, um, your internal matrix is what's coming through. The patterns within. So this is a message to, um, of ceasing with our hand here. It's very eclipse energy here, isn't it? It's like her hand is eclipsing the sun or the star behind her. So uh, the eclipse is going to be very, very powerful for you. Just saw 222 two, two on the timer, like the, the energy is intense. Um, the energy is aligning is what is going on. The stars are aligning. For you to actually see this inner matrix, this inner pattern, and I'm seeing it in her body, and that's why that um, the body keeps the score book came through. It's for you. This is a deeply embedded um, traumas that are actually residing in the cellular makeup of your body. So, when we experience a traumatic event. An emotional trauma, um, if we're not able to fully process that, those emotions, 
at the time and quite often we're not the body will shut down the body will freeze the body will run you know it will um we will want to forget about it we don't want to think about it we want to um, pretend it never happened you know it's all these really totally natural human things just saw three 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 on the timer um so quite often what happens is the that energy that trauma energy um kind of gets embedded in our physical body and this is where you get um, somatic healing um, in Aotearoa New Zealand um, Rongoa Māori healing there's Miri Miri and that is about um, touching the body in a way that triggers that activates that loosens the traumas held within our um, cellular body but I'm also getting DNA here and that is quite often indicative of past life or ancestral traumas so your shadow self wow is guiding you to go within your own body that's what was coming through with the, the eyes no longer looking at outside circumstances um, for this time you're entering into a powerful aligned time of healing just saw 444, oh my gosh, like power number one, I'm just like actually um, putting my hand on my heart chakra now and rubbing this like deep healing, this is an amazing aligned time for you to experience deep, deep healing, I'm getting mother wound here with our cow, our female cow, um, this is the time to look within your own body um, and guidance from your shadow self to actually um, undertake some kind of somatic healing. So it's that um, trauma healing, but it's based in the body. I personally found ecstatic dance. For me, ecstatic dance is a shamanic journeying. I have very like profound visions and revelations within that, but also dance is a powerful way of unlocking um, those traumas, 555 on the timer, um, those traumas that are embedded in the physical body. So when our traumas are embedded, they, they're unhealed energies, and so they are going to cause problems in your physical body. They're going to manifest in physical ways because that's your body communicating with you. That's your body saying, hey, we've got something that we need to deal with in here. And it's, um, if there's any particular, you may be feeling this right now, if you actually go within, like our High Priestess here, if you take the time now to just close your eyes, breathe deeply three times, in and out, in and out in and out. Focus your third eye, your inner vision into your body and take the time as I continue talking to do a body scan. So you're focusing your inner vision into your body. You're going from the hair on your head through your skull, through your brain, you go down every single part of your body and you're asking your body to let you know where there is pain, where there is unhealed trauma. Now, as I carry on with the reading, you can carry on with this body scan and just take notice. I'm noticing myself now that for the past few days I've had um, this tension in my left shoulder which is being mirrored here right now you may be feeling the same thing considering that was the last few days and I've been feeling the energy of these um, messages from your shadow selves coming through there may be um, 
trauma stored in many of your pile number ones uh, shoulder um, yeah that just needs to be healed that needs to be addressed let's go to the number 14 in our beautiful angel numbers book forward thinking you're planting the seeds for your future that vision you hold dear for your future is being nurtured today. The work you put in will be rewarded. Write down your vision in great detail. Visualize yourself reading it again after it's been realized. Ah, so bringing in that thankfulness energy. That when you that um, imagining of when you look back and go, oh, I got exactly what I wanted, and what came through with that, knowing what this card says and what we got at the beginning of the reading, and our glow up lipstick coming, wanting to come through for you, alerting me from the other table. Um, wow. to put this this meeting your soulmate fated connections so I feel like many of you are desiring that um, divine union sacred union uh, sacred sexuality uh, tantric connection divine counterpart twin flame soulmate um, energy and we're in the empress energy I'm getting here with our cow um, our female cow, she is the, the giver of milk. So we've got the high priestess and, wow, and empress energy coming through. This beautiful crystal is morganite, acceptance, compassion, release. Definitely feeling the release here. I'm also getting the color um, linking here with this shoulder this tension in your shoulder and how our beautiful hair when we I read a book um, I know this is very rambly but I read a book a long time ago I can't even remember what it was but it was looking into um, the sacred cow the sacred milk of life and the the author um, discovered for themselves that they felt there was a link between um, glaciers the glacier melt the milky white glacial um, pure water purified water it's been it's gone through a purification process and that that is the giver of life because the glaciers melt and create the rivers um, from which all sustenance comes and then comes out to the to the ocean so there's an energy here of this um, kind of nurturing nourishing washing clean with the milk from the empress energy um, washing over your celestial body I'm getting I know that <laughs> that's not quite accurate but getting your like soul body your energy body your flower of life body actually this empress energy this is the message coming through <clears throat> the empress energy the nurturing, self-loving, self-caring, self-honoring energy is actually your way to wash yourself clean of these um, shadow um, traumas that have become embedded in your flower of life and your um, kind of cellular body, your physical body. Your way of, a, a way that you can heal, oh, I'm just feeling straight away the a relief and the release in my shoulder here. Um, your shadow self is coming through to show you, <laughs> to stop right there, the way for you to heal um, your shadow traumas that are embedded in your physical body is through self-love and self-care 
that's why the lipstick is coming through the empress energy and we'll go back to morganite the ultimate love attractor this is all about self-love but i do feel like i got the shivers when that um, came through that some of you could be meeting your divine counterpart your emperor to your empress and this is energetically this isn't about gender um wow and it's through that um, connection there will be this deep somatic healing so that's also why the sacred sexuality came through that really conscious connecting and consciously connecting on the physical so maybe some of you have had um, quite bad um, traumas to do with your sexuality to do with your body to do with um, pain fear um, and trauma to do with your body particularly um, sexually in that sacral chakra and that root chakra and definitely in your heart chakra um, and this connection this fated connection so for those of you not looking not open to that this is a connection with yourself this is absolutely self-love is on the cards here in a big way um, but for some of you, it's going to be meeting, and I just feel such the release here in my shoulder, this um, matrix of um, unhealed trauma that has been affecting me for the last few days, is releasing with this message of you meeting the person that you can go through this somatic healing with. So if this is sexual trauma, this is engaging in conscious healing sexuality with another, with a trusted, safe partner that actually allows these um, locked up uh, traumas to be released in a really healthy, loving, compassionate, beautiful way. You may both have traumas in these areas and that's why there's this sacred tenderness here, there, this compassion, this empathy, this love, this honoring and mixed with desire. So it's this energy of healing through through desire, through fully connecting with your body, fully connecting with the sensations of your body. This is Empress energy that's going to wash you clean. Pile number one, this energy of oh, release, relief from these um, traumas stuck in your physical body, this honoring your body, really loving your body, going on your own glow up journey, really tending to your body, really listening to how your body feels in any situation, what feels good, what feels a bit icky, what feels not okay, and really listening and honoring with this lipstick, really honoring and when you find things that give you pleasure maybe it's a new um, hobby uh, particularly creative with that dancing um, maybe doing pottery maybe um, some kind of exercise but that's really deeply connected with the feminine um, that really allows you to fully connect with your sensations, your physical sensations, and really honoring what feels good, whether that's getting a massage, getting your makeup done, getting your hair done, um, taking a nurturing bath, whatever, whatever it is, your body is talking to you, your body is showing you where in your body there is unhealed trauma, and it's through your body with this empress energy, it's through honoring your body, and really um, going within, and listening to your body to how it feels and what it's saying in any any given moment what feels good what doesn't feel good this really honoring your body is going to release and again like that energy in my shoulder just the release of this um 
pent-up trauma, the stored trauma. Now I'm going to close off this reading by reading this Morganite card and then um, your reading may well come to a close but I'm just being called to this deck of cards will get a final message as well. Beautiful, beautiful message from your shadow self, pile number one. Okay, Morganite, the ultimate love attractor. Some of you are 100% at attracting your, your soulmate, your divine counterpart in a big way. Big, big way. I get the shivers every time that comes through. Morganite opens channels for positivity affection and devotion to flow effortlessly through your energetic fields. Morganite is able to uncover deep emotional pain, bringing awareness to unexpressed feelings residing inside your body so that you can release them. Know that these feelings can change and are not a part of your identity. Clearing away thoughts of martyrdom or victimhood, Morganite expands your ability to love and receive love, advancing your soul to the core of its inner truth. So exceptionally beautiful. I'm actually feeling this one, the top one. She was the one calling. Love yourself for the courage you've shown to arrive at your best version today. Oh, and then we, we, have, we have the lovers there. Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages from your shadow self, pile number one. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading where we're asking for messages from your shadow self. And wow, powerful, powerful creature, powerful animal spirit. You've chosen um, white tiger. Very powerful, very agile, very physical, very capable, able to be fierce and loving and kind. Able to uh, move through um, situations uh, with a camouflage, able to kind of slip through um, situations, slip in and out, is coming through, like able to um, kind of divert or, no, I don't know what the energy is here, able to go um, unseen. I'm not sure what that message is relating to, um, but it will probably come up further through the reading. You've chosen salt boundaries, and we have a self-love salt, a purity salt, and a boundary salt. I wonder what this one is here. And a protection, wow. I feel like this is the, um, you're getting a lot of, um, <clears throat> heart chakra, uh, tension, soreness um, for you, definitely to do with the heart, um, the this dagger earring wanted to come through for you, um, so we've got boundaries, we're, we're getting cut and clean away, and I think this is this um, slipping in and out energy, like you are able to cut yourself cleanly away from toxic situations or toxic people in your life. You're protected. You have the ability to um, slip away without harm 
coming to you and this is this boundaries here with the salt but it's like you're protected um, when you honor yourself you're protected at all times part number two but particularly when you're choosing to honor yourself with our very powerful white tiger here this is self-honoring self-respect self-worth knowing knowing what's right for you and what's not right for you those instincts really trusting your instincts and just cutting clean away from people places things that feel wrong instinctually feel wrong by starting to really trust the red flags that you feel you're highly highly intuitive highly intuitive like next level number two getting the shivers with that when you feel an alarm bell or a red flag um, no matter how small or how trivial it may seem to the rational mind listen to it it will transform your life look at these um, <laughs> light shining butterflies this energy of self-love self-protection and always choosing you in these situations where you sense and you do you're so highly intuitive you can sense the vibration and the energy you can actually sense the light field around you pile number two it's like you've pick up on the light frequency the level of light within other people or places or things or situations and as you grow in your ability to set healthy boundaries to cut clean away from situations people places things that um, you know give you this alarm bell red alarm bell red flag energy the more your energy field is going to purify, you're, you're just going to feel way better, basically, with this um, white salt here, this purity. There's just this energy of like you feeling so much better once you start always, the word is coming through, always trusting your instincts, never second guessing. And so it doesn't matter what it looks, this is the message coming through from your shadow self. You are extremely intuitive. It doesn't matter what the facts and figures are on the 3D. Like, um, yeah, you can think of an example. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter what the 3D reflection or mask is you are sensing the energy of the person place or thing and you're sensing it correctly this is a big bold message from your shadow self and the message coming through is trust me trust your instincts trust your red flags your alarm bells trust it uh, completely implicitly and it will change your life starting to practice this honoring that and then setting boundaries accordingly is going to radically transform your life wow 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 let's have a look at your number 41 wishes made hope is faith that in divine timing you'll get what you need your angels want you to discard a specific timeline for the arrival of what you want. Wish for those things to come, but detach from how and when they do. Write down something you feel stressed about and bury the paper as a symbolic gesture that good things will grow in time. Mm, very focused on intention setting there. So perhaps that's a message for you to now at the this powerful time, this April, or whenever you're coming to this reading, to um, set intentions to trust your intuition um, completely and implicitly and set boundaries accordingly. Perhaps this is an intention. This is an intention that your shadow self wants you to make to learn how to better set boundaries and to always honor your instincts so 
we've had these three powerful, powerful cards come through for you. Spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace. Balance, equilibrium, and this is this importance of setting healthy boundaries, of trust. If When we don't trust our intuition, we feel destabilized, and then we're kind of energetically on the back foot because we've questioned ourselves, we've questioned our path, and it, that's created a destabilizing energy that's ungrounded. So this is very high priestess, shaman, uh, woman energy here um, of trusting your intuition. Your intuition is spot on. Power number two. Your intuition, your instincts are accurate. You're connected to the light frequency. So you're... Even if you're not seeing it visually, energetically, you are feeling the light frequency of everyone and everything and every situation that you encounter. Trusting completely your instincts and your intuition about those people, places, things, situations is going to transform your life. It's going to bring you a sense of peace and harmony because you'll feel grounded because you're trusting yourself. Well, have faith in yourself and in higher powers. They lead you in dark times, even when you feel you've lost guidance. This, I feel, is this energy of even these, like, uh, could be moths, um, in terms of when information is given on the spiritual plane, you are receiving um, downloads, you're just, it's your, your makeup, you can feel the energy in the room, and in terms of these in dark times, even if you're not seeing um, physical evidence, you know, on the way someone's acting or what they're saying or something like that, that matches your instincts, your intuition, trust your intuition and your instincts first and foremost. You won't harm the other person by setting healthy boundaries or being aware that you're not sure if they're the right fit for you or if that job is the right for you. It's not harmful. It's a healthy boundary because you're honoring yourself, you're having faith in yourself, and you're trusting yourself, the self-love. Boundaries are self-love. Protecting yourself from energies that don't feel good for you personally is, is love. It's not harmful. It's about it's all about you. Now, what is this? knight in shining armor I'm getting, coming through with. On your soul's journey, ah, pilgrim rather than knight in shining armor, you need to lose yourself so you can find yourself again, follow your dreams. I'm getting this energy of perhaps you have felt lost and ungrounded, destabilized recently. Um, perhaps there's like been some people pleasing, or just that, um, you know, like that energy of um, narcissistic energy. The empath um, feels, senses the truth, and yet the narcissist is saying something different and telling the, um, telling you that you know, you're wrong, that you're making things up. And this could also be your inner critic um, stamping down, you know, with rationality, logic, um, that no, no, um, I'm just feeling things incorrectly or no, I'm not seeing, you know, the evidence on the physical world and the 3D world of what I'm sensing intuitively, so I must be wrong. You know, that's 
that's the energy here. So there is an energy of, um, I'm definitely getting people pleasing coming through very clearly for you that when we uh, tend to the needs of others where we um, try to appease situations and in the process we um, betray ourselves because we're wanting to make things better for the other person for the group and bit by bit that your own self-love boundaries self-protection is eroded um, because you're either taking on too much or you're feeling overly responsible for the feelings, thoughts and actions of another person. Um, this energy of self-betrayal, which um, is quite strong words, but it's just that energy of uh, where, again, you had an instinct, an inkling, an intuition about a situation and then you... Um, you don't trust it and you move forward on that path and you end up um, ungrounded, destabilized, feeling quite stressed, quite ragged energy I'm getting. And that's this energy of losing yourself so that you can see that no, your instincts were correct in the first place. And that's that energy of self-honoring, self-love, where you come back to this beautiful white tiger energy of I know myself. I feel the ripples of energy around me. I know what's good for me and I know what isn't good for me. And I act accordingly. It's very strong, very self-loving, very kind. It's just, it is what it is. The tiger is what she is. Um, there's no apologizing for being that way. There's no making, you know, over explaining or making excuses for cutting cleanly away from a situation that has um, been toxic to you, that hasn't been in alignment to you. The tiger does as she wants, as feels right for her. And this is what you're coming back to, and this is your message from your shadow self of that, that, oh, I'm getting the lemon there on the bottom. Oh, cleansing. Continuance, apple, I'm not sure what that means. And the one on the top wants to come through too. 14. So 14 was pile number one, 14 for one. Cleansing. Lemon. So this is this purity salt here, this boundaries, this, um, your guidance from your shadow self is to go through a process of cleansing. So uh, whatever works for you in terms of that spiritual cleansing, spiritual, on that spiritual plane, on that energy plane, and to do this regularly, and to regularly check in with your spiritual senses, your intuition. And the more that you trust your intuition, the, the stronger and clearer and cleaner the information is going to come through. So you just start on your path. Um, perhaps you've gotten a bit lost and you've not trusted your instincts and intuition on situations or people, um, places, things. And then this is an energy of coming back to you, coming back to your instinctual, intuitive self and trusting, always trusting your instincts, your intuition. And this is going to bring in this purification, this cleansing energy. Not surprising <coughs> for you here to get divination chives. You're highly spiritually connected. You feel the light frequency of everything and everyone around you. Pile number two and your message from your shadow self is to trust your instincts, trust your intuition, and behave accordingly. The tiger doesn't just sense something. They sense it and then they behave accordingly to what they're instinctually sensing. You are high vibrational, power number two. You can feel the frequencies of others and it is time to 100% 
trust your instincts and your intuition. This is your message from your shadow self, pile number two. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. We'll be asking for a message from your shadow self, and these animal cats really want to come through for you. <clears throat> the snake wanted to come through. I am feeling these two as well. Oh, sing your song, pile number three. Beautiful. Oh, earthworm. Mm, maybe that's more like was meant to indicate a worm rather than a snake. Interesting. It's definitely grounded, very earthy. These two as well. We'll take it all. Fire ant and deer. And of course, the orca. So many animal spirit. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Just kidding. This like soul tribe energy around you and also um, your spirit team around you very oh look at the fire ants um, whew, working together working as a team oh you've got like a very powerful very present um, spirit team coming through I'm actually getting accept our help interesting Okay, a lot of cards and symbols have come through. Um, so we'll start to feel out what's going on. Deep being, self-love and acceptance. I'm getting very strongly accept our help. Accept the help of your soul tribe and your spirit tribe. You have a spirit family um, who are on the other side. You have ancestors here. I'm getting very strongly. Your ancestors are coming through with the snake and the earthworm. The um, deep down in the DNA is uh, where I'm getting that from. Um, your ancestors are here with you and helping you and guiding you at all times. Deep and deep being, we've got that deep down, deep, oh, okay, so this is a message from your shadow from deep within um, ancestral trauma um, that wants to be here, it wants to be seen, it wants to be brought to light and your um, spirit team, your ancestors, your spirit guides, um, wow are guiding you to do just that. And the orca is a highly um, family, community-oriented animal spirit. I'm not sure if you can see, but this orca has been through the ringer. So many scars on their body. Oof. Yeah. This is family family stuff, family healing, family trauma is what it is, singing out to you now with the nightingale, family trauma is singing out to you now, uh, trying to get your attention um, so that you all can be healed, I'm getting, oh and the starfish came up upside down, Interesting. I didn't even realize that I put that upside down because that's giving um, hanged man. Oh, yeah. Tarot cards want to come in for you. Hanged man energy. Oh, oh, there's something about seeing something very clearly here with the fox. The fox is very astute, highly um, intuitive, intelligent. Oh, portal. Yes. Gosh, there's a portal opening for you, and I'm getting that opening as well. Deep being, self-love and acceptance. Accept our help. You're being guided 
to go deep within the feminine here with our figure here, this magenta dress. We've got Morganite, um, the ultimate love attractor, acceptance, compassion, release. We've got the phases of the moon and the hibiscus, which is the, the two, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So again, this is with this, um, yeah, I'm getting through the generations. You're being called to heal um, ancestral trauma that you you can go there. I'm getting shamanic journeying here, like shamanic journeying into the cave where guided um, you can uh, meet your ancestors, you can access what traumas are held um, in your DNA from your ancestral from ancestral trauma. Um, you can see it clearly um, in a way that's a game changer with the hanged man energy coming up here with the starfish where you see it clearly and then it can be transformed and healed with the snake. Ooh, rainbow obsidian, hope, death, evolution. This is deep. This is your, this is your shadow self alerting you to um, wounds, like family traumas, intergenerational trauma, ancestral trauma that is deep within you because you've, you've, your bloodline has come from that place. And it's calling out to you, calling out from the darkness, from the shadow, calling you to go into that portal, into that shamanic healing journey where you can access um, that those hidden traumas because they're ancestral and you can heal them. Hope, depth, evolution. Within the darkness, ooh, there is always light. Colorful bands highlight the stone's beauty. Rainbow Obsidian is a gentle stone, showing you unhealed matters of the heart and bringing hidden wounds to the surface for ultimate healing. Rainbow Obsidian takes you on a journey of evolution, of opening your heart and discovering your true purpose in this life. Able to assist in cutting cords, Rainbow Obsidian floods you with light and love forgiving yourself and others in the process. That's a, a key um, energy frequency to bring into this shamanic journeying, into your ancestral uh, traumas. So it's not about reliving uh, terrible events and um, you don't have to re-feel everything. It's more like going into this energy. You're being guided to go within, into the depths with an energy of forgiveness, self-love, self-compassion, compassion for others, forgiveness. It's more about seeing what's there, not reliving, uh, because that can be re-traumatizing. It's more like getting a new perspective. And I feel like for some of you, just this reading um, could be that new perspective of that there is these um, intergenerational traumas, these ancestral wounds that are affecting you and that you have the power to go within, to go there into the depths, into the shadow, to um, bring these unhealed energies to light by seeing them clearly, by seeing them for what they are. You're this beautiful um, light worker, but I'm getting path clearer, path cleanser. That's your role um, here in this lifetime to cleanse, clear, release through this deep love and acceptance and forgiveness. So it's very gentle energy. We've got nightingale, dear, very feminine, gentle energy, very wispy, whispery, 
it's not about going into the darkness and fighting the demons or whatever that a lot of um, masculine energies can get um, caught up in <laughs> that sort of energy. This is very light. This is just cleansing and clearing through seeing and hearing what's really there um, through love. This is the transmutational power of love, of acceptance, of self-care, of forgiveness, compassion for others. So yeah, it's not about, the energy isn't about digging up all the old stories, but it's more like going down there into that shamanic cave to access your the ancestral wounds with the intention to heal to honor, to respect, to love and let go. Um, this figure here representing you is, isn't going in with armor, isn't going in to fight. They're bringing the divine feminine love energy. They're bringing a lightness of touch. Um, they're bringing a beautiful song. They're bringing a beautiful vibration that it's just the perfect timing for you to access that energy within your DNA um, and just bring this beautiful divine feminine loving energy into that place. So as I say, the message is coming through. You don't need to relive. You don't need to re-traumatize. You don't need to know the details to do what you're going to do. Um, everything is working around you to create the perfect opportunity for this to occur. And it's just about seeing it clearly. Lapi Lazuli Royalty, transformation, immortality. Regal in all forms, Lapi Lazuli was most prized and sought after in ancient Egypt. So this could be past lives, ancestral healing. I'm definitely getting within the family, um, particularly. <clears throat> when it was believed to have powers of immortality, and the ability to expand the heart's capacity for love. Lapi Lazuli guides the soul and protects its journey from life to death. So this is the energy of that you are highly guided and highly protected as you journey into that shadow territory, that ancestral territory. True wisdom comes from within. And Lapi Lazuli facilitates that by unearthing your core truths. And this is unearthing those core wounds that were created before you were even born, poem number three. This stone appears when you are ready for spiritual transformation and takes you to the depths of who you are, unveiling deeper awareness so that you can become the leader of your own life. This very leadership energy here, very regal energy, but in a very soft, divine feminine way. Soft, loving, kind, gentle. We're getting a lot of gentleness. Now we'll get 44 for deep being. We'll see what 44 has for you, four coming up, foundations, yeah, the four is those ancestral um, DNA genetic code foundations, oh wow, divine intervention, ask for protection, the angelic realm is around you presently, the angels want you to ask them for help and support with stronger intentions. That came through at the beginning. Accept our help. We want you to accept our help. Your angels coming through that want you to ask them for help. Now, high vibrational frequencies do not tend to intervene. Um, I mean, interfere with your life. Um, angelic frequencies honor and respect you and they want to be asked because they um, respect you. 
there's the, the honouring, the respect, and um, they're not going to interfere, like they're not going to wade in um, willy-nilly, I'm getting, um, into your life um, to enact their own agendas. Um, they need to be asked. You need to ask for their help in order to open that portal um, of angelic guidance and angelic help. Um, and this is all a matter of respect and high vibrational frequency. Um, just as, you know, in the human realm, interfering with other people's lives is generally not a healthy, high vibrational action. Um, you know, there can be divine intervention that comes through, but it will always be coming from a frequency of your higher self, of your soul. Your soul, your higher self will have called out, you know. So, um, yeah, just something to be mindful of. Ask for help. Ask your angels for help. Absolutely, that's just coming through so strongly. Well, lie in meditation today and repeat this mantra. I am ready for divine intervention in my life. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about divine intervention. Yes, but the calling out for, call out for help to your angels, to angelic frequencies, to the archangels for help in this. You're not alone. You're not alone. Pile number three. You can do this. <clears throat> You're highly capable. But you don't need to do it alone. Accept our help. So you have an angels, angelic frequencies around you now. Beautiful child is coming through around you now and they're waiting for you to send out that frequency of asking for their help and then accepting, accepting their help. Really coming into a communion, communication with that. Setting the intention to cleanse and clear um, ancestral wounds and asking for help to do so. And the minute that you open this portal, you open that door by literally asking for help. I uh, just saw 1717 on the timer, which um, is a dream big energy. I mean, this is just going to clear the path for you to accomplish your dreams in this lifetime. Absolutely ask for help. Let's see what these tarot cards want to say. <sighs> Judgment. I mean, this is ancestral release. This is the release of that trauma from your DNA sequence, from your genetic code. You will be released from these traumas of the past, you know, beyond and before this lifetime for you. Seven of Cups. Mm, getting Shamanic Cave energy there. It's got the Moon and the Sun. Getting Eclipse energy as well. And I'm seeing a mountain range of that going within the mountain range. So the mountain range being um, your, your DNA, your ancestral um, pathway is coming through. But I'm not sure whether that's making sense, but there's something about going within the mountain, going in, yeah, it's very much a guidance to go into this shamanic healing journey, to access, to see, and to release, perhaps through chanting coming through, 
Wow, chanting coming through very strongly. Chanting as a way to unlock those traumas, those ancestral intergenerational traumas from your DNA sequence with the snake um, and it will release them. Uh, you may want to check out um, mantra chanting, chanting of any kind, or even maybe just singing in the shower. If it gives you that sense of cathartic release, that sense of this judgment card, that release, that relief, of these and I'm getting like the the energy of like you know the bats leaving the cave and the like fluttering of their wings this energy like you are doing the healing work of the ages and of the sages because you're healing not only yourself but you're healing a whole ancestral lineage Ace of Wands, you have the power. Look at how stunning you are. <laughs> you absolutely have the power to do this. Pole number three, you are a bright shining star. You're aligned with the feminine energies of love and forgiveness and acceptance. Again, ask for help from your angels as you embark on this shamanic healing journey. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of Wands. So it, it's that kind of energy of going into the cave and it may be seeming a little bit frightening because you don't know what's in your shadow. You don't know what's in, the, um, in this ancestral shamanic journey. And this is why you're being called to ask for angelic help and guidance. And they will go with you shining the light around you, within you, protecting you for the entirety of that journey. Three of Cups, beautiful card of friendship, love, happiness. Yes. And the Four of Cups, the rat on the cups. Mm, and again, release six of six of wands is success, but with this particular card, it's also release coming next to uh, the nightingale judgment. The um, you will be victorious in this endeavor to cleanse and clear and release um, these ancestral wounds. Um, there's a message here. With these kind of dark, you know, going into the darkness energies here. And then the Three of Cups, which is about friendship, which is about your uh, spirit team, your angelic team coming through to again request that you ask them to accompany you on this journey. Um, and they will guide you. They will light the way. They will light the way for you. You're guided, you're divinely guided. Um, definitely a strong, very clear message for you to literally ask your angels, the angelic frequencies around you, your guardian angels, archangels, to go with you into this ancestral healing um, journey. And they will help you. They will make it easy for you. This is the energy. They will make it easy for you to go and do what you need to do and come out victorious in terms of that you have released these stuck energies, these stuck uh, ancestral traumas and wounds that are stuck within your DNA sequence. This is your message from your shadow self, pile number three. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. I love and appreciate all of you being here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.